in Jamaica want to grind on strangers. Make sure her husband ain't around, because... It's so sexy. Push him on some ass, yo, and go on the water. You better do something right. All that Ooh. shit talking. You not gonna spank that ass? Not even good enough. What are you gonna do? You're not even good enough. Are you fucking kidding me? You're not good enough. For what? Oh. No. Oh. <laughs> and you would give a hickey to white girls. I'm done with you. I'm done. As my man Choke No Joke said, gangsters recognize gangsters all over the world, even if you can't speak the language. And what we learned today, boys and girls, was that you need to keep your ass on the resort. Mohammed, we're happy. Ew, it was a mess. We're waiting for uh, my models to show up. We're here. We're waiting for you. <laughs> I'm shocked. I'm not pissed yet. I don't think you want to be over here right now. Yeah, you might get some choice words from a prime card, and this was not. This was like rigged. All I'm saying, as a professional event planner, the whole event was a ghetto mess, and these freaks on the island knew it. Yeah, look at this, this what? Imani right here. I brought you some bubbles. Oh, God. It is about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. It's <laughs> and she's it's still in the bed. It's 11 o'clock in the morning. Well, I exaggerate. I'm exaggerating. Mm -hmm. She got her little nipple cutlets right here. Cover up the nipples. <laughs> <laughs> and it's sticking to my hand. Ew! <laughs> <laughs> Get your <laughs> nipple off me! <laughs> <laughs> You had a good time last night? I did. Well, I walked around and regulated. I had to play some reggae on the beach because they were playing some like old people's music. So now they're bumping. Did you guys go to the beach? Yeah. Reggae. You did reggae. that, huh? That was me. That's all me, yeah. So uh, thank DJ, you for that. DJ? DJ Irie? DJ, DJ Irie. Yeah, I want to hear some reggae and maybe we'll go to see the Sussex later on if you guys are down. Okay. At Brick's Cafe. Woke my girl up. You know, I'm just walking around trying to feel it. I'm trying to get out of the grill. This good in the morning. $300 to get to a... Uh, Kingston, four hours. Drive. Good. See, we didn't know that. No. Now you know. That's a now plus. I know, yeah. So, you know, so we're going to make it happen anyway. So, so, what happened to you yesterday? We all always looking for you. I was tired. You know, I got here yesterday and I was up since 5 in the morning. Yeah. So, it's done. When I, when I first met you, I but I woke up early. Yeah. So, I feel good and fresh. Uh, yeah. so That's how you treated me like that. You'll hang out with us later tonight. Oh, for sure. Let's get it tonight. All right, good. It's Friday, too. It's Friday. Right? Right? You was, like, you was creeping around on the new side. You missed it. That's why I left early. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so where do you get this amazing personality from, man? Well, I can just say, I am Muhammad Ali. I am from Egypt. And just watching all this, super, all the highlights, all this bright lights, I like to kick back and a slice of pie sounds just right. <laughs> You got a lot of wrestling. Oh yeah, a lot. Too much. Yeah. Can I shake your hand? Woo! What else are you gonna shake my hand? Woo! Now see? That's what I'm talking about. A little sweat. Again. Yeah, that's right. My day, baby. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. That's how we shiver down in Washington DC. <laughs> that's right, the bottom plug, baby. Here we go. Let's see here, yeah. Ready? Jasmine, I want to take you and a magic carpet ride. Unbelievable sigh. Unbelievable cheering underneath and under on a magic carpet ride. A whole new world, a fantastic point of view nobody to tell us where where to go let me share this whole new world with you let me unbelievable sight <clears throat> unbelievable chariot underneath and under <laughs> on a magic carpet ride <clears throat> I don't look at my voice man <laughs> Jasmine, where are you going? Jasmine! Jasmine! Jasmine. The letter Lee. Is your father back? Jasmine, come back. Where's, where's Abu? What, Abu? What is Abu? <laughs> Abu's Abu. 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 Abu.
<laughs> he's like so sincere and he's very much serious about what he's doing. Oh, yeah. All right, all right. Uh, Hey look, bikini babe, bikini babe. When you're Muhammad Ali, when you're in Jamaican, now that's cool. <laughs> Ready? Oh, I think there's people want to walk through. All right. Hey, yo, every time, every time somebody walks in front of your camera, talk about their ass. <laughs> I'm going to say, what's up? You're knocking me off like that. Come on. Come on. <laughs> All right, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. So this one is what? The Matrix? The Matrix Reloaded. Right. The Mr. Anderson versus Mr. Neo King. All right, cool. Ready? Yes. Ready? And action. Mr. Anderson, did you get my package? Yeah. What good? Surprised to see me? No. Then you are aware of it. Of what? Our connection. I don't fully understand how it happened. Perhaps some part of you imprinted onto me something overwritten or copied, but at this point, irrelevant to what matter is, is whatever happened, happened for a reason. And what reason is that? I killed you, Mr. Anderson. I watched you die. With a certain satisfaction, I might add. But then something happened, something impossible. You destroyed me, Mr. Anderson. Afterwards, I knew the rules, I understood what I was supposed to do, but I didn't. I couldn't. I was compelled to stay, compelled to disobey. And now I stand here because of you, Mr. Anderson. Because of you, I'm no longer an agent. Because of you, I'm unplugged. A new man, so to speak. Like you, apparently, free. Congratulations. Thank you. But, as you will know, appearances can be deceiving, which brings me back to the reason why we're here. We're not here because we're free. We're here because we're not free. There's no escaping reason, no denying purpose. Because we both know without purpose, we do not exist. We're here for you, Mr. Anderson. We're here to take from you what you tried to take from us. Ugh! Purpose. You saw the way he took the glass off and did the face? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. Come on. Now he's a big wrestling fan. You gotta be pumped, yo. You gotta be uh, at first, I want to do a little cocky thing, something right. cocky. First, I do something. Right. Ready? Right. Action. You know something mean, Gene? What you gonna do when the feet and pipes runs wild on you? Now, this is like Sluger. You know something? I am the most miserably magnificent physical specimen beyond perfection. And you speaking of perfection, Bobby Heening, I know you are impressed. I know everybody out here is impressed with me, the narcissist like Sluger. But the most impressive thing of all is when I hit that stage. And that's when you will find out how great the narcissist is. That's if you got the guts to take the challenge. Now you've heard it. The physique, the look, one handsome son of a bitch. Ah, yeah. Oh my god, I can't! Sorry! That's right. Bye, 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 bye. Fill it, fill it, fill it. There you go, baby. God oh. damn! Oh shit.
anything like this in my life. You have definitely given me joy. I can do one more. Just don't call it that. Jamaica was worth this. Jamaica was worth that. I've never laughed like this in my life. Exactly. Damn. Slippery with wet. Well, let me tell you something, son. It's my rules in that ring, and if you don't abide by those rules, I'm gonna jump on your ass. You understand me? So if Omar goes out here, I'll tell him the same thing. But we got here is two big eagles and a big match. And what you talking about? What you talking about? Oh no, no, you did not, son. You now ain't talking about don't, nothing. Don't tell me give a whip you ass. ain't talking about a damn thing. I'm gonna tell you some beer. What you gonna do? You ain't. You look like a spaghetti noodle. What you gonna do? Tell me. <clears throat> You ain't oh, you're, saying you're good, shit. You're good, girl. But you're yeah. not good enough. Bring it on. You're not good enough. What look, you look, gonna do look, with that look, ring? Look, what you gonna do? I'm the, I'm the rated R. You gonna R. wrap your ass around me like a noodle? Wait, huh? Wait a second. What you gonna do? I'm the rated R. I'm gonna sorry. bust your ass. You're a lady. That's why I'm gonna let her do her thing. She's a lady. I'm sorry, Jasmine. I'm sorry about that, Jasmine. <laughs> what you gonna do? <laughs> well, let, me, let me finish. Roddy Piper. No, wait, wait, wait. Let me finish. <laughs> and we will go. Wait, wait, wait. Let me finish. And what we do is behind the scenes. No, do it now. Oh. We're talking about what's going on behind in the ring. We're talking about what's going on in the ring. Because it gets real ugly behind closed oh. doors. Yeah. <laughs> I know what I'm saying. <laughs> when the cameras, when the camera roll off, we're off the air, you know. You tossing girls in the air. Uh, what you gonna uh, do with it? You gotta go with that. What you gonna time. do with it? Uh, uh, what you gonna do uh, with it? Tell me stuff. what you gonna do with it. Show what you gonna do. Oh. Show me what you gonna do. About what you gonna what? do? Here I go. What you gonna do with it in the room? You talking about later? What you gonna oh, do? No, no, not that kind of stuff. Oh, well, what then? Uh, well, what then? Well, what? Oh, well, what? Uh, see, she you got, ain't got me. Even ready. She got me wrong. Look who's thinking with their, you know what? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? I'm gonna spank that stuff. You gonna spank it? I'm gonna how you gonna spank it? Until Show us how you gonna spank it. Until it's all red. That's right. I ain't white. I don't get red. No, no, no. Okay, I don't get red. I give her tan. I'll give her some yeah, tan. I get pink. Turn, turn her around and spank her. I get bronze. Turn her around and spank her. She's been. You don't even know how to do it. No. Do it. Or Go dumb. Ahead. I'm, I'm the, or dumb I'm, I'm and the, stupid. The Whatever. You better do something right. All that Ooh. shit talking. You're not going to spank that ass? Not even good enough. What are you going to do? You're not even good enough. Are you fucking kidding me? You're not good enough. For what? Oh. No. Oh. <laughs> and you were giving Iggy some white girls. I'm done with you. I'm done. Oh. Uh, <laughs> so, 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 like I was saying, where was, where was I at? Look. So, yeah. wait, come back. Come back. Now. What was I at? What was I at? Yeah. Alright, what's happening, man? What's going on, bro? How was y'all first night? Oh, it was it awesome, was, man. Went it was to... great. It was great. We had fun. Yeah. I ain't gonna shoot till like 5 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah. had to get up early for another shoot. So it was, it's like we busy. We getting the full, the full experience of being a model, you know? So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's one of the perks of it. Yeah, we went out to the uh, jungle last night. The club, hip hop club out there. How was it? Oh, it was good, dude. Yeah, they had girls shaking that ass. <laughs> it was nice, yeah. It was good. And where, where are your plans for today? Well, I got to shoot like in 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'm going to go through that, walk around, peek the scene, and, you know, yeah. lay it back. You know? See anything crazy yet? Not yet. I ain't go to the new beach yet. <laughs> <laughs> So but we plan on yeah. going before we leave, so yeah. yeah. <laughs> Alright, cool. Well, good luck right. to y'all today, right. man. We'll catch y'all in a minute. Alright, All right. thanks so much. Right. What are you doing back here? Oh, yeah. Oh, look at the man with the camera immediately. He's vicious. I had, I had changed my flight this Spielberg choke. So they charged me for it. But then the woman, I was giving her my complaint. Because the amount that she was charging versus when I changed it before, it was not the same price. Nowhere near. So, <laughs> she told me to go to the airport at 2 o'clock, pay for everything, and she and everything will be taken care of. No, that was when the flight was leaving. She gave me the wrong information. So, I paid for a cab there, a cab back, and paid for my room. How mad are you right now? I'm all right. Oh, I'll get over it. I'm going to have some. I'll make it back. Where are you <laughs> from? I'm from the oh, Atlanta. I feel, huh? I feel like Atlanta. cool demeanor. Where are you from? <laughs> I'm from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Yeah. I'm from Pittsburgh, but I live in Atlanta. Let me tell you something. Yo, very independent. That's for sure. Very independent. That's why. That's a woman. So, who do you think fault it was in your whole flight situation? Whose fault was that, you think? Yeah. 
people. For the most part, it's mine. I should have made sure that everything was taken care of. But it was cool because I was willing to pay for it. Okay. But then at the same time, do you feel like the people that bought you here should have paid for it? Like, do you think that somebody else should have handled it instead of you, even though? What do you think? Where? I mean, I got the discount rate. And <laughs> look, I'm gonna just say it like that. You know what I mean? I got the discount, so whatever. At least I didn't pay the full price of it, whatever. You know, I mean, yeah, I would have had to pay. I was gonna room with Masika, and I was gonna room with Masika, and I still would have had to pay same price, no difference, no difference at all. You should have just came back here. And just walk through one of us. And that's what I was going to do. But see, everybody like, knew that I had checked out. Just like, y'all like, oh my God, I'm not too level. Well, they were like, like too. And I'm not going to tiptoe around here and whatever right, else. You know what I mean? Right. I'll pay my bills. No, I respect that. I respect that. So what, they gave you the, right fl the wrong flight information? Yeah, the woman on the phone. Because, like, I was going off on her. She was rude. I was like, look, hold up. You got the wrong one. <laughs> like, wait a minute. You know, so, yeah, she gave me the information. And she took my credit card number. I was like, well, no, you just pay when you get there. I'm like, okay, no. <laughs> You know, wow. like, what are you like, drinking right now? What is that? Tennessee and Bailey's. I know that. Yeah. Damn. Damn. You have any questions you know, for the judges you? since they standing here? Um, yeah, you got nine of them right here. here. Bum, bum, bum. Anyway. Yeah, we right yeah. here. We right here, so. No. Uh, so. No, you can ask them. Yeah. You can ask us anything. If you want to work on something, you need to prove well, the area. Well, yeah. my also only. The thing that I know is that from how I was trained from a long time ago, it's kind of different. So I'm getting exposed to Kind of different like how? As far as the walk, the swag with it, the way you create your walk to fit with you. Instead of just being like stiff as a board and you only move your arms so far, you know what I mean? Let me tell you this. As a, a, a you know, I've done it. So let me tell you this. You adapt to the clothes. Whatever the clothes are, whatever looks the clothes is, that's what you adapt to. You're the chameleon. So if you're wearing some funky shit, you're going to walk funky. If you're wearing some stiff Valentino sexy, you're going to adapt sexy. If you're wearing some loose Bahama swimsuit, you're going to walk sexy like you have a swimsuit on. You're a chameleon. You're a model. You adapt to the clothes. That's it. That's it. I would say, you know what I mean? Because I know you hear I'm working a, on. You want to hear from an editorial and design yes, standpoint? Yes. From a design standpoint, you want whatever the model puts on to be. You want, it's, it's basically a showcase. So the designer wants the model to display that outfit the best they can. Meaning that when you come out on the runway, your walk should be so significant that the clothes stand out on top of the outfit. Editorial? From an editorial perspective. You have to make sure you don't have rum punch before you shoot. Make sure you do not have rum punch before you shoot because it will cause bags under your eyes. <clears throat> and never do an interview after five rum punches as of right now. <laughs> but this is only going to happen when you're dealing with Mr. Choke No Joke. But many, many bottles. Many bottles. Many bottles. I have done many interviews after at least five Bellinis. So. Right. <laughs> when it really starts with um, editorial, it starts with the eyes. They're, they're looking at your eyes, Absolutely. and it's your chemistry with the yeah, photographer. Um, a good photographer starts with a good model. If you're a good model, the, the picture's going to come out great. You know, because you inspire him to work, and especially your connection with the photographer is what's going to give is, gonna, is what you're going to give to the actual photo shoot itself. And you got to have multiple looks. I mean, uh, actors do headshots because that headshot photographer catches that look. They have maybe two looks. Models have about four or five to ten looks. So, as a model, you need to have ten looks at least in order, or ten to, for the photographer to actually capture, you know, your different angles, different things. Because that's that's what you're, you know, you're telling a story through picture. So at the end of the day, that's what you need to do. You should be able to give Hello, the photographer chef. and connect with the photographer and the team right. and yes, give them everything that they the need. Well Can I get and that's, what, that's what editorial takes. So what is going on right now? <laughs> We're waiting still for a photo shoot. Still in modeling, you have to wait and wait Which is fine. and Which wait. Is fine. Things are backed up. It's fine. So we're gonna go have fun, hopefully. And when it's our time to shine, we will.
So you walked over there already, and what happened? Yes. Um, there, there's some computer malfunctioning. Some, there's a lot of stuff going on that they're trying to figure out. <laughs> I don't know the details. Computer malfunctioning on a photo shoot? Yeah. Yeah. They are trying to download pictures to a computer, so he has enough room to take more pictures. He doesn't have enough memory. One of the photographers is in customs, so that's why we're backed up. Immigration and Customs has taken our photographer and our hairstylist and our makeup buyers. So we've been having to do stuff ourselves, do our own hair and makeup. Right, I'm about to change my makeup because, I mean, I'm sorry she did my makeup, but this look thing got to go. <laughs> it's not me. It's got to go, I'm sorry. <laughs> Who's going to do your makeup this time then? We're going to fix it ourselves. I did my own makeup. Karen touched me up a little after she came back on break, which it wasn't really her job to do. Right, I feel bad. Her that people, they have yeah, to her do people got stuck in customs because we're in Jamaica and there's immigration and things like that. So things happen. You gotta work with it. Only the strong will survive. To <laughs> try not to go back. Well, it's a good thing you guys have each other, I guess, in this exactly. situation. Are you going to do your photo shoot today? Can I ask that? Yes. Hopefully, yes. Regardless, if it rains, what? I don't care. Yes, yeah, so we're getting it done. It's part of the competition. We're going to get judged on. So this is like the Tyrant. Oh, here goes the other photographer. Oh. I don't know what they can have. No, it's all right. You're the other photographer. What's going on? How's everything going today? Come on. I'm, I'm, no, I'm, I'm looking for Karen and... Yeah. Don't, don't. <laughs> yeah, come on. What's going on, brother? What's happening? I'm good. I'm waiting for uh, my models to show up. We're here. We're waiting for you. <laughs> no, they're in the they're in the room still doing makeup and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, the effect. Um, met some cool people. My roommate Austin. You know, so he's playing on tag team in this competition tomorrow. So we're gonna do it up. Oh, nice. What are you guys up to right now? Right now we're trying to get wet. We're gonna get wet later, but right now we get wet. So trying to get in the water. Oh, nice. All right, thank you, man. You're welcome. Take care. It's frustrating. Being the runway, we get it on the way. There you go. Put them legs to work. Put them legs to work. <laughs> <laughs> 